Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for February 1st through February 15th, 2021. It's a general reading, so let's just jump in and see what the energy theme is surrounding you for the first two weeks of February. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio, so we have this card of inspiration. It's a number 18, and it says begin now. So when it came out, you could see that it was kind of sideways. So I'm taking this to mean that when you're watching this video, you are kind of like uh, still searching for this inspiration, still kind of searching for this light. Um, kind of reminds me of the sun card, you know, um, finding this light in the darkness. So you might be searching for that at this time, or this might be something that has just come into your life. So let's see what clarification we can get for you. So Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know about inspiration, please? So we have the Three of Cups reversed here. So it could be, oh, and the Chariot. Well, I don't feel like we're done here yet, so let me just keep going and see what else we get about this. Okay. So we have the Ace of Swords in the upright, the Two of Cups in reverse. We have the Three of Cups reversed, the Chariot upright, and the Emperor kind of crossing this Chariot here. So, inspiration. There has been some kind of inspiration or like eye-opening moment or something that has been uncovered, Scorpio, it would seem. So with this light coming up here in the darkness, you know, actually this is looking more like truth and clarity, maybe that you have been searching for. And it could have to do with a love offer that wasn't accepted or this could be a breakup. So... Uh, then we have the Three of Cups in reverse, and with the Chariot here, this is somebody who I do think this is about someone, Scorpio, that was having difficulty um, choosing between, you know, maybe two different women, maybe three different women, um, and they're just having trouble, like, making up their mind. Maybe there is one choice here that is better for this person, better in regards to like for their highest good. You know, maybe they would be more supportive of that person's journey where the other choice might be kind of like uh, the darker horse here. Um, maybe that indulges some more of the shadow sides of this person uh, that we're talking about here, which seems like it is probably this emperor, since we have all feminine cards except for the chariot and the emperor here, and the emperor was turning into reverse. So, you know, this is about somebody who was definitely controlling in this situation. Um, they might not have a super controlling personality, although they might, um, but, you know, controlling the situation by keeping their options open. This could have been something that might have been kind of hidden, so we'll just have to see what else comes out here. So, Spirit, can you please clarify this reading for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know about this? Thank you. So we have the um, Ten of Cups here. Sorry, this is not the Ten of Cups. This is the Eight of Cups. The need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, and leaving home. So this Eight of Cups is your advice here, Scorpio. I'm sorry to say is that you should walk away from this person. And I shouldn't even say, you know, sorry to say, you know, maybe this is already um, something that you had kind of you know, made up your mind to do, but you were just looking for some affirmation because it does look like this person, you know, I don't want to say that they weren't honest or truthful, but I mean, I think they might be the type to have strung someone along, you know, while full, well knowing that maybe their intentions weren't ever to settle down with one person is what I'm getting. Like, is it super nefarious? 
I mean, I don't think so. It could be. I mean, just take it as it resonates for your situation. But like I said, I mean, I do think that this person just, you know, might kind of tell people what they want to hear, you know, just to be able to keep all those options open. Because I get the sense that at least one person here, if not, you know, all three of these people, who knows, um, you know, we're actually looking for like monogamy, you know, a two of cups in the upright type situation. So then the last card out here we have is the Knight of Swords, and it was in the reverse. So decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional, sudden, or unexpected changes, and review your options carefully. So what I'm getting about this is, since it's in reverse, I think this is actually like maybe this person's reaction, if you were to confront them on this, you know, is the, um, is the vibe that I'm getting from that. And it just may be indicating that that's part of this emperor's kind of thing, you know, that that's kind of how they skirt or like avoid um, taking responsibility or like owning up to anything or giving anyone closure because they you know, could get really defensive and just be like, nope, we're not talking about this. Um, I'm just walking away. So see ya. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Sorry, it wasn't a more uplifting reading, but um, obviously there's someone out there that needs to hear this. So thanks so much for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.